cookies by George, definitely a special treat. They're really, 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 really expensive, but they are really, 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 really good. That used to be a Jugo juice, now it's called Stuffies. And this used to be the Burks location. They've now moved to another location. Nordstrom's was located over there, but they've shut down, they've pulled out of every mall in Canada. And the latest scoop, that used to be the Microsoft store, but Microsoft is no longer at this mall either. Hi, welcome to the alley and this is our new featured drink, the sea salt grape and the sea salt pineapple. The alley has an average 4.4 star rating on Google reviews. There's Saks and Fifth Avenue and the Louis Vuitton store. I did a video where I was flexing my Walmart bag in front of the Louis Vuitton store. It was kind of a funny video if you have time to, uh, to check that out. It was a short that I had done. My name's Link and welcome to Link Life Money. I have 200 videos. This is my 201th video. My videos normally focus on money topics and saving money, but sometimes I'll do mall tours or touring the Calgary Stampede where I feature different local companies and businesses. I'm now at 461 subscribers. If you could please subscribe to my channel, I would truly appreciate it. I've spent over 1400 hours making videos and I haven't yet made a dime. I need to get 1000 subscribers in order to be monetized with YouTube. This is the center of the mall and it definitely is a really cool place to be.
This store is one of the smallest stores in the mall. And one of my good friends used to work there and they said that it was about $20,000 a month that it costs to rent that place in the mall. And that was over 10 years ago. So I can't imagine what the rent would be like now. And at one point, this mall was actually had the highest sales per square foot for a retail space in North America. And that's why a lot of American companies ended up coming to this mall because there was so much sales that was generated from just this location. This is a new location for Victoria's Secret and Pink. It was closer to the center, but it's moved down a bit. Here's Hudson's Bay. This is a huge, huge open area. Chapters is always a cool store to go into. And I actually want to quickly stop by the movie theater because I want to know if anybody remembers this secret about the movie theater. Here, first off, I'll just show you outside the theater. That might give you a hint. So outside of the theater, it has like a Egyptian type theme. You can see the hieroglyphics on the side and then when you go in it's actually been a really long time since I've been to this theater so I'm not sure but when you go in uh, that theme kind of continues inside and when this theater was built it was oh yeah it still does so when this theater was built it was the same time as The Mummy was released. So The Mummy was released, the movie, and they had this theater built to help represent that movie. Now in the middle, this is the secret, in the middle is the concession area, but on top it used to open up, it looks a little different than it does now, but it used to open up completely and there was a laser show as well as um, fog that came out and it was pretty darn neat and special to see. So if you can please write in the comments if you remember seeing that, uh, that was well over 20 years ago. I had seen them before put on that show once in a while, but I haven't seen them do that in probably at least 20 years. I'm 
We have some arcade games. And it looks like I'm gonna take the stairs back down because the escalator going up is not in order. So we're back in the main mall area and we are going to enter through Hudson's Bay so that we can go upstairs. This big open area is generally where Santa Claus is located, which we will likely see him within, yeah, probably about a month and a half. He's usually here starting sometime in November. They've added a new furniture type section to this bay location. But from what I see, the, the bay furniture prices are quite high. I used to own Fitbit stock and I would constantly, constantly go by Sport Check. They had a Fitbit display here and I'd constantly go by there to check what the inventory was like as if that would try to help me gauge the, the overall sales. I'd go to a few locations but it was just kind of funny. 
now I still kind of own Fitbit because I do own Google shares. I'm not recommending to buy or to sell Google, but I do own Google shares and Google did purchase Fitbit. So technically I still own Fitbit shares, I guess. There's a huge bridge that goes over top of McLeod Trail. And a lot of people use that if they take the sea train. But it's just a really big bridge that uh, leads towards the direction of the sea train. Where the Starbucks was, that where that's where there was a carousel and I always thought that they should make that free that that could make the small stand out from other malls that kiddos and families would want to come here if they had a free carousel but I think it was like five dollars a ride or something I just always felt personally that it would be cool if it was free And then for the ceiling, there used to be different, um, different types of art that was hanging from the ceiling and it would move all around on a track, which was pretty neat. Such a huge space and sometimes you can even see or, or hear birds in this area, little um, chickadees. JDSports.ca just recently opened here as well as South Center Mall. It looks like they have a ton of different kinds of shoes. The Lego store. Sleep Country. We purchased a mattress there probably about two years ago. And yeah, it was a good experience. They let you trade the mattress one time, I think up to 30 days. And we had a mattress that was quite high in height. So we were able to change the, the box spring so that it was at a more reasonable height. And yeah, it worked out well. I like that they do have that exchange policy. There's a huge Nike store that just recently opened. Eddie Bauer. (laughs) 
Sunglass Hut. There's actually three Sunglass Hut locations in this mall. So there's one here, there's one on the lower level, and then there's also another one on the lower level right inside the bay. So there's a Sunglass Hut right inside the bay. This prime energy drink has been lots of controversy if that can be sold in Canada which I didn't think that it was but you can still see that it is for sale I've seen it both at showcase and at Sobeys Discovery Hut that's always a neat store Again, that's where Nordstrom's was, so it was on the first and the second level. And this is the Saucy Bread Company. They have amazing, amazing, amazing pizza pretzels. I used to, to get these quite often and they're absolutely delicious. There's a huge duck, oh my goodness. And there's Boston Pizza down there. Sunrise Records. We used to have HMV, but not anymore. Way back in the day when HMV opened, I used to live in Richmond, BC, and they went door to door and handed out free HMV t-shirts. I think I was probably maybe like 10 or 11 years old and they were really, really, really big t-shirts. There used to be a currency exchange here, and now it's a, a barber shop. Oh, actually, we'll take the escalator down because then we'll be able to just tour that last section that we didn't yet see. Here's the Apple store. Sounds like an alarm is going off on one of them. 
one of them might have mistakenly gotten clipped or something, it looks like. Tiffany and Co. Canada Goose, those jackets, yeah, they look really cool, but I know they're very, very, very expensive. I work with YYC Quick Clean. We do vehicle detailing, interior and exterior cleaning. It's convenient while you shop at the mall. And here's our pickup drop-off area. YYC Quick Clean has an average 4.9 star Google rating. Thank you to Khalif and Mallory from YYC Quick Clean for explaining that you can drop off your vehicle at Chinook Mall, go shopping, and when you return, your vehicle is all sparkly clean. This is Burke's new location, and they even have a specific section for Rolex watches. My name's Link and welcome to Link Life Money. If you could please subscribe to my channel, I would truly appreciate it. Save money, make good choices, and please be kind.